First views here of Space Shuttle Atlantis making its way towards Kennedy Space Center. It's about seven minutes away from its 8.44 a.m. touchdown, traveling at uh, Mach 3 at the moment, 2,400 miles per hour, still uh, 97,000 uh, feet above Florida. Take care of data. Atlantis, take care of data. Next for taking air data. Two air data probes on the left and right side of Atlantis's nose now gathering atmospheric pressure data for the shuttle's onboard guidance system. They do that by measuring the speed of the wind flowing past the shuttle. Six, six and a half minutes from Atlantis's touchdown. This shuttle is going uh, two times the speed of sound at the moment and is currently 86,000 feet above Florida. Atlantis is approaching the imaginary circle leading towards the runway that's created by the microwave scan beam landing system that will allow the commander and pilot to guide the vehicle as it makes its final approach to runway 33 at Kennedy Space Center. The commander will be taking control of the shuttle's steering once its speed has dropped below Mach 1. It's below the speed of sound. Atlantis is currently traveling at two times the speed of sound. We actually have the uh, runway inside now. We'll lose it in a bit. Copy. Couldn't have picked a clearer day. Five minutes now until Atlantis is touched down. Currently uh, 67. Atlantis, your energy approaching the hack. Uh, no change to the weather. The winds will be all headwind, 12 peak 18. Nominal shoot. Heard we copy all 12 peak 18, all headwind. Appreciate it. Seeing here the same view that the commander and pilot are seeing from their heads-up display as they approach Kennedy Space Center. They'll be performing the head or meeting the heading alignment circle here in just a moment, where they'll be making a 300-degree turn, right-hand overhead turn, to line up with runway 33. Commander. Charlie Hoboth, now uh, flying Space Shuttle Atlantis, now that the shuttle has uh, reached its subsonic speed. It's going now at a rate of 600, uh, 625 miles per hour, currently 44,000 feet above the ground. Less than four minutes now until Atlantis has touched down. Atlantis slightly low at the 180. Capcom Chris Ferguson reporting on uh, Atlantis's
ground track as it makes its heading alignment circle turn into Kennedy Space Center's runway 33. Shuttle also just announced its arrival at the Space Shuttle Landing Facility with subsonic booms. Pilot Barry Wilmore now in control of the steering of Space Shuttle Atlantis for a moment. And now back with the commander in charge. Atlanta slightly low at the 90. We agree. 90 degrees left in its heading alignment circle turn before it lines up with the runway. Now two minutes away from touchdown on runway 33. Shuttle is still uh, going at a rate of 355 miles per hour. We'll be touching down at a rate of 224 miles per hour. 16,000 feet in altitude at the moment. Runway 33 here in view as Commander Charlie Hoball lines Space Shuttle Atlantis up for its touchdown in just over one minute. Atlantis is speed 356 miles per hour and 6,700 miles above the, in altitude. Hobob flaring up the shuttle's nose for landing, and as you can see, the main gear of the in place. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Barry Wilmore pulling the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Atlantis now rolling out on runway 33 at Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 4,490,138 mile flight to the International Space Station. Houston Atlantis, we'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Atlantis. That was a picture-perfect end to a top-fueled mission to the space station. Everybody, welcome back to Earth, especially you, Nicole. We'll meet you on page 5-3, the entry checklist. Begin the post landing, first thing. 